Thank you for coming in. Go ahead and take a seat. So, firstly, thank you for agreeing to be a part of this testing process. We really appreciate your participation. So, just as a brief reminder, we are bringing people in today to do um, a series of perception tests. None of these tests have one correct answer, so don't try to find the correct answer. Just answer to the best of your ability the first thing that pops into your head, okay? Wonderful. Uh, can I just have you verify your name, please? Okay. And just a couple of quick demographic uh, questions. Um, could you please tell me your age? Okay, thank you. Perfect. And did you grow up in the city or in the country? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And do you know the general population of your city or town? Mm-hmm. Perfect. And is cilantro good when you eat it, or does it have that soapy flavor? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Okay. And have you ever owned a pet? Okay, thank you. Perfect. Well, we'll get started now. Uh, first, we are just going to do a sort of brief warm-up. Uh, so this is not a part of the test, this is just to kind of get your brain rolling, okay? So I'm going to take out a couple of cards. And, and first, I just want you to tell me the color that you see, okay? What color is this? What color is this shape right here? Okay, perfect. And let's see. What about this color right here? What color is this? Can you see? Okay, great. And this color. What color is this shape? Perfect. And let's see. This color here. What color is this? Perfect. That is yellow. A couple more. What color is this right here? What color is the oval? Wonderful. And lastly, what color is this? What color is the heart? Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pick a couple of shapes and ask you some questions. So, are these two shapes the same shape or are they different? Are these two shapes the same shape or are they different? Perfect. Very good. And what about these two shapes? Are these two shapes the same or are they different? Good. And how many sides does this shape have? This one right here? Perfect. Okay, and lastly, are these two shapes the same or are they different? Perfect, thank you. Okay, now that we're warmed up, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes. We're going to do some sound tests, okay? Some sound tests. I want you to listen to these sounds and identify if they either sound sharp or round, okay? There is no criteria of what a sharp or a round sound sounds like, so it is up to you to identify how you perceive the sound, okay? So keep those eyes closed, just so there's no um, contamination based off of what the item looks like, okay? So is this sound sharp or round?
Okay, what do you think? Is the sound sharp or round? Okay, thank you. Next. Is this sound sharp or round? Was that sound sharp or round? Good, thank you. Okay, next sound. Next sound. Can you tell? Have you identified the sound as sharp or round? Is this a sharp sound or a round sound? What do you think? Okay, thank you. Next sound. Was that sound sharp or round? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now this sound. Was that sound sharp or round? Very good. And lastly, was this sound sharp or round? What do you think? Sharp around Okay, thank you very much. Very good. You may now open your eyes So next I'm going to show you a visual and ask you a few questions. This next test was a marketing research test to figure out better ways to create graphic designs uh, and wording in order to make a product sound the way that they want it to be perceived or to be visually perceived the way that they want it to be perceived, okay? So I'm going to give you two kind of nonsensical words, okay? The two words are kiki and booba. Okay, kiki and booba. I'm going to show you two shapes next to each other, and I want for you to identify which shape is more in tune with kiki and which shape is booba. Okay, so out of these two shapes, which shape do you think is kiki, and which shape do you think? is booba, which is the kiki shape, and which is the booba shape. Is this shape here kiki or booba? Kiki or booba? Good. And is this shape kiki or booba? Kiki or booba? They can't be both. They can only be one. Kiki or booba? 
Very good. So moving on in the same context, I have two different pictures for you, okay? This side is of regular still water, regular still water, and this side is sparkling water, okay? Sparkling water. Now, which do you think is Kiki and which do you think is Booba, okay? Is still water Kiki or Booba? Is sparkling water Kiki or Booba? Which do you think? Which is this? Which is the still water, Kiki or Booba? Okay, and good. Now lastly, I have two food items, okay? There's a lemon here. There's a lemon here. And I have peanut butter, okay? Now I'd like for you to think about the flavors as best as you can. Lemon and peanut butter. And which do you think? Which flavor do you think represents Kiki? And which flavor do you think represents Booba? Is lemon Kiki or Booba? Is peanut butter Kiki or Booba? Good job. I know it feels kind of funny, but it really is interesting that most people who take this test have very similar answers. So. In that same regard, uh, a follow-up question. Is the flavor of a lemon fast or slow? Mm-hmm, very good. And is the flavor of peanut butter fast or slow? Good, thank you. We will be switching gears into some visual tests now. So I need you to focus on me, okay? Focus on my nose. These are going to be some peripheral color tests first, okay? So I'm purposefully not showing you the color first, and I just want you to look at my nose, and when you see the color come into your peripheral vision, tell me what color you perceive it to be, okay? Here we go. And what color is this? Good. Okay. And... What color is this? Good. And were those the same color or were they different? Okay. Now, what color is this? You should be looking at my nose. Good. What color is this? Good job. And now? Good. And were those the same color? Okay. Now, what color is this? Mm-hmm. And now? Okay, perfect. So we'll be making it a little bit more difficult now. I'm going to be bringing in two colors at one time, okay? So keep looking at my nose just with your peripheral vision. What two colors have come into your vision? Okay, very good. And how about now, what two colors have come into your peripheral vision? Okay, very good. And are these the same color? Okay, very good. And what about... Are these the same color? Good, very good. So keep looking at my nose. And I'm going to turn on a light. And I'd like for you to tell me what color you think the light is, okay? What color is the light? Just with your peripheral vision. What color is the light? Can you tell what color the light is? Okay. And has the color changed as it's moved around your peripheral vision? Okay. And what about now? Is the color different now? Okay, very good. Remember, none of these tests have a particular answer that we're looking for. This is all just based off of your particular perception, okay? And has it changed now? Okay, and has it changed now? Perfect. And what about now? Okay, so the light itself has changed. Okay. Very good. 
Very good. Thank you. Now I want you to look at this little marker here, okay? And identify what color it is. Good. Now focus on my nose and tell me if the color changes as it moves around your vision, okay? Just focus on me and let me know if the color changes, if it gets more vivid, if it becomes more yellow, if it just fades out a bit and you're no longer able to identify the color. Let me know if the color changes. You should just be looking straight ahead. We're just using our peripheral perception, okay? Peripheral perception. Good. Good, okay, and we're gonna use one more color. So first, look and identify this color. What color is this? Good, okay, good. Now, once again, look at my nose and let me know if the color changes at all during it's moving around your vision, okay? We're just looking for any change in the color, any change at all. Good, very good. Good. Yep, just keep looking at my nose. Okay, perfect. Very good job. And moving on to a little bit more abstract of a test. Okay, so I'm sure you may or may not have heard of a Rorschach test. This test was created to uh, be sort of a um, sort of a determiner of specific personality traits. However, we are not trying to determine anything about your personality, just your perception, okay? So, I would like for you to tell me what you see in this little shape here. This little ink blot. What do you see? What is the first thing that your mind comes up with in this picture? Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. And are you able to see anything else subsequently after looking at it for a little longer? Or does it stay the same, just the shapes or the object that you've been able to identify? Good. Okay. And now this one. This one right here. What do you think you see in this shape? Is there an easily identifiable little object, or do you have to work hard to see anything at all other than just an abstract shape? Good, okay, and again, are you able to see more now that you've looked at it for longer, or does it stay the same shape that you've been able to identify? Perfect, okay, again, this shape here, what do you see with this shape? Good. Okay. And is this shape similar to this one, or are they very different? Okay. And what about this one to this one? Are they very similar, or are they very different? Good. All right. And lastly, this shape. This shape. What do you perceive in this little ink blot picture here? What do you perceive in this picture here? Okay. Very good. And are these two similar? Okay, very good. Thank you. So now we will be moving on to some depth perception tests, okay? We're going to see how your brain perceives depth. Uh, so we'll start with this here. Okay, so this test is designed to be difficult, okay? Once again, we're not looking for any specific answer. So, here's this grid. Now, some dots are meant to be perceived as more bold or more, um, to, to be perceived as closer to you, obviously. They're not 3D, so they're not actually close to you. So, the dots are meant to be perceived, some of them, as closer to you than others, okay? So let's start with this row up here. Can you identify uh, which dots seem to be bolder or closer to you? Which dots seem to be bolder or closer to you? What do you think? 
Do they all look the same? Are there ones that have a, def a definite difference? Okay, um, let's move down to this line here. This line here. Can you identify some circles that seem to be a little bit more bold than the others or are, uh, are they just the same? Okay, great. And the last line down here. Can you identify some circles or dots that look to be a little bit more bold than the other ones? Great. And now once more, all of them. All together, can you identify one or two circles that seem to be standing the most boldly out to you? Okay. Thank you. And our last sheet test here. This is called the Amsler grid test. Now, I just want you to focus on this dot in the middle, okay? Just focus here on the dot in the middle. Don't worry about the lines, but I do want you to perceive the lines, okay? As you are focusing on the dot in the middle, just identify if any of the lines become wavy or start to disappear or have any sort of movement at all while you're staring at this little dot in the middle, okay? So just stare at it for a little bit and let me know if you see anything particular happen with the lines, if they disappear, if they become wavy. Okay. Okay. Very good. We'll stare at it for just a little bit longer. Keep those eyes open for me. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, very good. A couple more depth perception tests here. Okay. I'm going to try and trick your brain a little bit with two different types of lights, okay? So, I'm going to have this light here, this kind of smaller dimmer light and this bright light right here, okay? Now, can you tell me which light is closer to you, the bright one or the dimmer one? Which light is currently closer to you? Okay, and now, can you tell me which light is closer to you and which light appears to be further away from you? Which one? Good, okay, close your eyes for me and I'll switch them. Okay, go ahead and open. Which light appears to be closer and which light appears to be further away? Good. And close your eyes once more. And open. Good. Okay, now which light appears to be closer and which appears to be further away? Okay. And let's do one more maybe a couple more. Which light is closer and which is further away? Good. And now? Good. And now? Good. Okay. Now I'm going to remove the dim light and keep the bright one. Now once again I'm going to have you close your eyes. Okay, now look at the light. Now close your eyes. Now look at the light. Has the light changed locations? Okay. And now close your eyes. And now look at the light. Is the light closer or further away from you than it was just now? Okay. Now close your eyes. Now open your eyes. Find the light. Is the light closer or farther away from you now than it was just in the last moment? Mm -hmm. Okay. And one more time, close your eyes, and open your eyes. Good. Is the light closer or further away from you than it was in the previous time? Good job. Very good job. Okay. So now we will be doing a word association quiz. You may keep your eyes open or closed, whatever makes it easier for you to visualize the answers to the questions, okay?
So, in your mind, does the letter P have a color? Does the letter P have a color in your mind? Okay, and what color is it if it does? Okay. And does the letter V have a color? Does the letter V have a color? Mm hmm Perfect. And what about numbers? Does the number 5 have a color? Does the number 5 have a color? Okay. Perfect. And what about 22? Does 22 have a color? Mm hmm and is 22's color different from just the number 2, if it does have a color? Great. Thank you. Now, if I were to say the word ink, ink, if I were to say the word ink, what immediately comes to your mind? Okay. Now, if I were to say the word coco, coco, what word immediately comes to your mind? Good. And what about sandal? Sandal. Sandal. What word comes to mind? Or a vision, a picture, whatever first comes to your mind. Good. Okay. What about pencil? Pencil. Pencil. Okay. Good. And what about the word anomia? Anomia. Anomia. Okay. And what about the word lynx? Lynx. Lynx. What first comes to your mind? What comes to your mind when you hear the word lynx? Lynx. Lynx. Okay. And lastly, what about water? Water. Water. What comes to your mind when you hear the word water? Water. Water. Good. Very good. So, now to call back on your memory just a little bit, when we first started our session today, I showed you a few shapes and colors, okay? Do you remember what two shapes were red and yellow? They were the same shape. What shape was red and yellow? Correct, it was a square. The square was red and yellow, right? It was a red and yellow square. Good job. And do you remember what two colors the heart was? What two colors did I show you for the heart shape? Do you remember what two colors the heart was? Very good. We had a purple heart and a green heart. A purple heart and a green heart. Good. Now, do you remember what shape was orange? What shape was orange? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, that was... That would be the oval. The oval was orange, right? And there was one more shape left. Do you remember what the final shape was? Yes, the final shape was an octagon. An octagon. An octagon. Very good. I didn't tell you that you'd have to remember them, so you did a very good job for just keeping that in your mind anyway. All right. And finally, we will just be ending this test session with some light perception tests, okay? So I'm going to be putting things over your eyes and asking you some questions, okay? So first, I will show you the lights. Just a little pen light here, okay? Just a little pen light, and I'll start by asking some questions. So, as you can see, I will just be putting the pen light into your vision. So, think of this as number one, okay? Number one, and this will be number two, okay? Number two. In which version do you perceive the light brighter? Number one. Or number two? In which version do you perceive the light as brighter? Number one or number two? I'll show you one more time. 
number one or number two which is the light brighter to you which do you feel like the light looks brighter okay very good now I'm going to show you two different little light diffusions okay so I'm going to put this over your eyes and show you this light again which do you think blocks the light out better this diffusion this one or this one which do you feel blocks the light out better I'll show you one more time this one okay number one and this one number two what do you think okay very good now I'm going to ask you to please watch the light as it goes by your vision and let me know at what point does the light become the most bright okay when do you see the light at its brightest okay here good and again when do you see the light at its brightest here okay when do you see the light at its brightest okay when do you see the light at its brightest okay and now okay and now okay and now okay and now okay now i'm gonna bring back in that other light here and i'd like for you to tell me which you perceive as brighter which do you perceive as brighter can you tell is one brighter than the other or are they exactly the same which is brighter good are these lights exactly the same in tone or is one tone a little bit different than the other is one cooler toned or warmer toned or are they exactly the same okay very good now are you able to tell if this light is at the same distance away from you as this light is okay and now good and now okay and now and now good very good and lastly i just want you to let me know by keeping your eyes on my nose here when the light is no longer in your vision okay so we'll start it here we'll start the light here when is the light no longer in your vision keep your eyes on my nose okay and again when is the light no longer in your field of vision good okay and look at my nose when does it leave okay and when does it leave okay and when does it leave good and when does it leave okay and when does it leave good and when does it leave okay and lastly when does it leave good very good well you've done so well today you've been very helpful in allowing us to ask you all these questions Thank you so much for being here today, and we will see you next time for our next little test survey, okay? Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.